हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्रेट टेंथ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस पार्ट थर्टीन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम अपस्ट्रीम डाउनस्ट्रीम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन टैप्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन या दिस क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट अ मोटर बोट हुज स्पीड इज एटीन किलोमीटर्स पर आर इन स्टिल वाटर टेक्स वन आर मोर टू गो 24 फोर किलोमीटर्स अपस्ट्रीम दैन टू रिटर्न डाउन स्ट्रीम टू द सेम स्पॉट फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम लेट द स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम बी एक्स किलोमीटर पर आर देन स्पीड ऑफ द मोटर बोट विल बी एटीन किलोमीटर्स पर आर देअर फोर स्पीड ऑफ द अप स्ट्रीम विल बी एटीन माइनस एक्स किलोमीटर्स पर आर and the speed downstream will be equal to 18 plus x kilometers per hour here i would like to state few things that is whenever we have this kind of a question make sure that the speed of the motor boat is always greater than the speed of the stream then only when you are going upstream the speed of the boat will be subtracted from the speed of the motor boat and when you are going downstream then the both then both the speeds will be added up so speed downstream will be speed of the motor boat plus the speed of the stream now according to the question the difference between the two times when it is going motor boat is going upstream and downstream is 1 hour time is distance upon speed here the distance is 24 kilometers and the speed upstream is 18 minus x kilometers per hour therefore time upstream will be 24 upon 18 minus x and time downstream will be 24 upon 18 plus x is equal to 1 now in exams whenever this kind of a question comes the students they make a mistake that sometimes they write this term first and this term next and then they solve it. the idea here is we have to write a bigger number here now see if the numerators are same then if the denominator is less then this number is going to be greater so here we need to find out that which denominator is greater obviously uh, which denominator is smaller obviously here 18 minus x will be smaller than 18 plus x and when you are dividing 24 by a smaller number then definitely the quotient is going to be greater than this right therefore 24 upon 18 minus x minus 24 upon 18 plus x is equal to 1 so here i would suggest that don't rush up to write the equation just give it a thought for few seconds and then write with understanding now we apply our usual butterfly method 24 into 18 plus x minus 24 into 18 minus x upon 18 minus x into 18 plus x is equal to 1 which implies to 432 plus 24x minus 432 plus 24x is equal to 324 minus x square here i have applied a square minus b square so 324 minus x square now these two terms they cancel and we are left with we bring this here so x square plus 48x minus 324 is equal to 0 which implies x square plus 54x minus 6x minus 324 is equal to 0 how did i get this make the factors of 324 like this and from there you make two groups such two groups of numbers such that their sum or difference comes out to be 48 and the product will definitely be 324 so here we notice that 54 and 6 these are the two numbers such that when i subtract them i get 48 and when i multiply them i get minus 324 so this implies now x into x x plus 54 minus 6 into x plus 54 is equal to 
which implies x plus 54 into x minus 6 is equal to 0. This will be 0 if and only if x plus 54 is 0 or x minus 6 is equal, which means x is equal to minus 54 or x is equal to 6. Now, we discard this value of x because it is negative. x is representing speed. Speed cannot be negative. So, the our required answer is that speed of the stream is 6 kilometers per hour. Now we take a problem on one day work. Here, uh, A takes 6 days less than B to do a piece of work. If both A and B working together can do it in 4 days, how many days will B take to finish it? Now suppose B takes X days to finish the work. Then A takes X minus 6 days to finish it. Together, they are taking 4 days to finish it. This kind of problem we always handle by computing one day work. If B is taking X days to finish the work, then it's his one day work will be 1 upon X. If A is finishing the work in X minus 6 days, his one day work will be 1 upon X minus 6. A, similarly, A and B's together one day work will be 1 by 4 because together they are completing it in 4 days. So, in one day they will finish one fourth of the work. Now, this sum should be equal to 1 by 4. That is 1 upon x minus 6 plus 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon 4. Solve it by butterfly method. So, x plus x minus 6 upon x into x minus 6 is equal to 1 upon 4 which implies 2x minus 6 into 4 is equal to x square minus 6x which implies 8x minus 24 is equal to x square minus 6x. This reduces to the quadratic equation x square minus 14x plus 24 is equal to 0. Now solve it by any of the methods. So, I have split it into two parts. Minus 14 can be split into two parts, 12 and 2. Minus 12 and minus 2. So, that the sum is minus 14 and the product is plus 24. So, here we have taken x square minus 12x minus 2x plus 24 is equal to 0. Which implies x into x minus 12 minus 2 into x minus 12 is equal to 0. Which implies x minus 12 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. Implies x, my, x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 2. Now x is equal to 2 is not possible because together they are finishing the work in 4 days. So we can't finish the work alone in 2 days. How is it possible? Right? So, this value has been discarded. Hence, B will take 12 days to finish the work. Now, the same concept is applied whenever you have a tap problem like this. Two water taps can fill a tank in th 9 3 by 8 hours. The tap of longer diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately. Find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank. Both the taps, they are filling it in 9, 3 by 8 hours. We will convert it into a proper or improper fraction, right? So, now let's see what happens here. Suppose the larger tap takes X hours to fill the tank. Then time taken by the smaller tap will, will be 10 hours more. That means x plus 10 hours. Together they take 9 3 by 8 hours. That is this will be 75 upon 8 hours. Portion of the tank filled by the larger tap in 1 hour is equal to 1 upon x. So we are there we were taking 1 day work. Now we are going to take in 1 hour how much is done. Right, if it is filling the tap, filling the the tank in one hour, 
uh, so, sorry if it is filling the tank in x hours then in one hour it will fill one by x of the tank similarly this the portion of the tank filled by the smaller tap in one hour will be one upon x plus ten portion of the tank filled by both the taps will be equal to eight upon seventy five we are going to take the reciprocal of seventy five upon eight now together they fill in their one hour work one hour uh, amount will be 8 upon 75 that means 1 upon x plus 1 upon x plus 10 is equal to 8 upon 75 which implies x plus 10 plus x upon x into x plus 10 is equal to 8 upon 75 which implies 2x plus 10 into 75 is equal to 8x square plus 80x. I am taking this here and cross multiplying. So this x square will multiply with this. You have 8x square. 10x will multiply with 8 and you have 80x. Which implies 150x plus 750 is equal to 8x square plus 80x. Which implies 8x square minus 70x. 80 minus 150x will be minus 70x. Minus 750 is equal to 0. Dividing it by 2, we get 4x square minus 35x minus 375 is equal to 0. Now, we have broken 35 as, 30, as 60 and 25 such that the difference is minus 35 and the product is equal to minus 375 into 4. So now from here you have 4x into x minus 15 plus 25 into x minus 15 is equal to 0. Which implies 4x plus 25 into x minus 15 is equal to 0. Implies x is equal to minus 25 upon 4 or x is equal to 15. Therefore the larger tap takes 15 hours to fill the tank. And the smaller tank tap will take 10 hours more that is 25 hours to fill the tank. Here notice that we have discarded this value because the time cannot be negative. Thank you.